Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to light a cigarette or a cigar using only Photoshop, nothing else. This is not a lit cigar. Here's a final copy. Here's the original. Let's get rid of everything, pardon me. There we go. We've got a cigar over an ashtray and then we added in our lighting and all that fancy stuff and we lit it. How did I do it? Well, let's just start from scratch and I will show you step by step. Here's the original image. The next step is we want to find a lit cigar. If you go to Google, I've done lit cigar and I found a really, really good one, but it's got a yellow background. It's not, it's, it's not good for that. So I'm going to show you some advanced techniques how to, to get a image that isn't a PNG or a good JPEG to make it work. Okay, good. All right. Now I've got that image. Here it is in my pictures folder. I'm going to drag and drop it on top and then I'm going to twist it around like this and it's going to match kind of the direction, but not quite perfectly. The next step is you want to go ahead and change the blending mode from normal to screen. And when you do that, you can now sort of see where your new image is based on top of the old image. So for me, I kind of want to have something like this. So I want the ash to be really big. So what I want is I want the ash, which is the tip here. I want that to be able to go around the whole edge here. So maybe something like this. And maybe uh, I might even have to make it a little taller, something like that. And what I'm looking at is this part here. So if I turn this off, it's, it's kind of like the crust of a volcano. I want this area to have a full amount of ash. Everything else I'm going to take out. So there you go. We've got that. Now, this is the new technique I want to show you. If you hold down the Option key or the Alt key on a PC and the Shift key, and then you click on this Mask button here, you create an inverted mask. And what this is, it's basically a black mask where the normal one is white. And now we're going to go to the left side and grab a brush. I'm going to grab just a regular brush, just like this. And it's going to be a soft round brush. And let's make it, I don't know, something like 40 pixels. And now watch what I do. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to white. And now I'm going to paint around the inside of the cigar, just in that area only. So we'll zoom in a little bit. And you'll see here that I'm just painting in that ash and that sort of look that we're going for. So I'll just do this nice and quickly. And it's going to be a little bit too bright uh, based on, you know, it's just, it's too bright based on the image. But we're going to go and make a hue and saturation adjustment and change that in a few more seconds. So here we go, something like that. And keep in mind that if you make a mistake or you go outside the lines, you can always just change the color of the brush and it will then turn to... Um, it'll just paint over top of it and you can make fix mistakes. So if I click X, it'll go from white to black. And now I can sort of keep that sort of inside of it. And if I X again, I can add a little bit up here as I see fit. Something like that. It looks like the caldera of a volcano, if I was to, to say it. Uh, so there we go. Now, there we go. We've got this in. It's not quite right, but it's getting there. The next step is we're going to click on this. And we're now going to go ahead and add in a hue adjustment. Uh, hue, uh, we're going to do a curves adjustment first. Pardon me, I'm mixing up my words here. Create new filler adjustment, and then we're going to do curves. And then we're going to open this up. You'll see the curves, and I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to pull quite a bit down, something like that, just to get the ball rolling. Now, you're going to notice, of course, that it's applying to the whole image. We don't want that. We only want to apply it to the end of the cigarette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Alt key or the Option key if you're on a Mac hover between these two lines here and this creates a clipping mask and now this curves adjustment only applies to the ash in the cigar we're getting close everybody now the next step let's keep going is we've got this and it looks pretty good i could probably make it a little bit darker uh, you know maybe something like that yeah that looks a little better we want to add in smoke of course right so what i've gone is i've gone ahead and grabbed some smoke off the internet i grabbed a cigarette PNG and it's not a good one but again we're working with harder to use stuff because if you can use these types of images you can do it with good images and PNGs so there you go I dragged and dropped it in and now I'm just going to kind of go ahead and twist it and what I want is I want this curve of cigarette smoke right here to start here and then kind of go off so up out through the out through the screen so there you go I hit enter and again, this does not look right, not to panic. This time we're going to create a white mask. So I'm just going to add a layer mask and it's going to be a normal one. And then I'm going to switch to my brush. 
And in this case, I'm just going to brush away all of the stuff except the smoke that I want. So we're going to switch the brush from white to black. And watch. All of this now is disappearing. We don't want it. We don't need it. It adds no value. We're just going to leave that little bit of cigarette smoke there. And yeah, something like that. Okay. There's a chance that that's all you need, and that looks pretty good, but it might not be all the way there if you want the smoke to be a little bit more salient and a little brighter. The next step, and this is an optional one, is you can click on this, and you can now add in a levels adjustment. If you do that, you now want to hold down the Alt or the Option key, so you're going to clip it to the, imp to the layer below. So we're going to do the same clipping technique, just like that. And now, when I adjust the levels, it's going to only apply to the cigarette smoke. So let's see if we can make some adjustments here. There we go. I pulled down the whites here. I'm, I'm, I'm adding in a little bit more brightness, something like, maybe something like that. What do you think? Does that look pretty good? That looks pretty believable to me. That's how you do this. Oh, no, hold on. I don't agree. This looks a little rough here at the top of that uh, smokestack. Maybe I should adjust that a little bit. Uh, let's see. No, actually, you know what? That doesn't look too bad. Uh, I might add in a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and brush in a little bit more at the bottom. I'm going to make this a little bit more believable. Something like that so the cigarette kind of comes out at the top. But in a nutshell, that's how you do this technique inside Photoshop from start. Thanks for watching.